Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Mad Hatter or All That Matters? And our scripture is Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, Jerusalem, let your light shine for all to see, for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. I will exchange your bronze for gold, your iron for silver, your wood for bronze, and your stones for iron. I will make peace your leader, and righteousness your ruler. Violence will disappear from your land. The desolation and destruction of war will end. Salvation will surround you like city walls, and praise will be on the lips of all who enter there. Isaiah looks across the annals of time to that day when holy light shines in Jerusalem. It's the messianic promise of God that one day all will be well because all the darkness of humanity will have been subjected to the light of God's glory. He speaks of a massive upgrade. Bronze becomes gold, iron turned to silver, wood strengthened to bronze, and common stones made into useful iron. Peace now leads by the rule of righteousness. Violence has disappeared. War has become a word retired from all lips, even banished from our thoughts, and the eternal reign of God's salvation will be the talk of the universe, every bit of it, bathed in the presence and glory of Yahweh. When we read passages like that, it's not surprising that a potpourri of reactions comes forth. One imagines it's fantasy. How can humanity, the community of darkness, be found living in such light? How can peace reign eternally, given the warring nature of mankind? Violence vanished? You would expect the Mad Hatter that Alice met in Wonderland has been given free reign to write the news of the day. So it would be, it seems, a riddle without answer. From a human perspective, such an idyllic promise of heaven on earth is little more than wistfulness, an empty hope or high-thinking but unreachable dream. It would be nice, but how could this be? There was once a teenaged girl who was given such a vision by a heavenly being. She was told she would bear the Son of God, Messiah. He would be the Prince of Peace. He would usher in the Kingdom of God and be our Savior. She also mused on the riddle of being pregnant under the most unusual circumstances. How can this be? But from the very first swelling of her belly to the last drop of blood on Calvary's hill, every word the angel told Mary came true. And it was that truth spoken to Adam and Eve that a Savior would come to overcome their evil. Considering all of that, how can we think Isaiah a mad hatter with a delusion? The prophet speaks not of a fantasy, but the most sobering reality. The day is coming like a pregnant woman's moment in the birthing suite. Pain and the judgment of blood, followed by joy and the fullness of God's promise. For you today, I've been a little on the poetic fringe today, offering commentary on Isaiah like the Cheshire cat Alice encountered in Wonderland. Alice asked the cat if he would kindly tell her which way to go. The cat from a tree branch asked, Where do you want to go? Alice replied, I don't know. The cat said, Then it doesn't matter which way you get there. Riddles can be as much madness as an unwinnable video game wasting your hours like you have an inexhaustible supply. Isaiah was no Cheshire cat. He was pointing us in the only direction that matters eternally. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.